well now we're, I'm going to be putting on all these sprockets and then putting the engine on messing around with the uh, so we can get all this stuff hooked up and see what it looks like yeah I'm going to put the pillow block bearings on then put the chain on I think the last thing I'll do is most likely put the engine on just because that way it's not in my way when I'm trying to do all this stuff so uh, alright well what I'm going to do here is I'm putting on I realize that I have to use one of the one of the jack shafts that I was not going to use because it's got the keyway that runs all the way down the side and the other jack shaft that I was going to use that had the torque converter on it only has a keyway so far so I can't use that one I need to have my sprocket in the middle so uh, what I did what I'm going to do here is since this is not threaded and there's no groove for a, uh, a little one of these little collar things here. I don't know what they're called, collar locks, or just, I don't know what the hell they're called. But anyways, so what I'm going to have to do here is I got the keyway in, and I dripped a little bit of oil around the axle and on the inside of the torque converter, slid it in. I got a little bit of oil on the keyway itself too, just a slight amount. The reason I do that. I do that is because in the event that I ever have to take this thing apart it's not going to be so damn hard to do so now I'm putting in my little set screw using some Loctite I'm just going to use a slight amount oh Jesus well it was going to be a slight amount until it just gushed out oh yeah oh yeah Set this. I'm going to put the set screw right down in the groove of the keyway. I don't want the threads of the set screw to interfere. I don't want to mess up the actual keyway with the set screw. Now when it comes to these set screws and you put Loctite on them, you don't have to tighten them really super tight. Because if you tighten them too tight, then you just round out the dang, these dang set screws. And any of you who have ever had to do that, had to try to take a set screw out that's been rounded out because of your Allen wrench? Yeah. Talking about making you mad and by the time you're done trying to set everything up, you need to anger management classes. So, there we go. <clears throat> now... Push the keyway in there farther. Now I need another locking collar right there. And we'll grab one here quick. Okay, this one looks decent. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one. Adjust it directly over the. Oh, I must have had lock tight on this one already. Neighbor just asked me, hey, you going to be riding it this weekend? My God, I sure in the hell hope so. I'm one of those people that I like things moving fast. I don't like to procrastinate. I don't like to sit there and wait. Anything like that. Because I know, based upon the accomplishments that I've done in my past, that if I don't get something done fast, I lose interest and it just becomes another half-assed project. So, I want my stuff moving fast. Plus, on top of that, another little thing, side project that I do is I study business. And I have come to realize and understand one very important thing. When it comes to big businesses and small businesses, 
the only primary difference isn't that the big business is big business eats the small business it's the fast business that eats the slow one most businesses out there or any type of thing out there that a person does the faster they get it done the more successful they're at at it so I don't like to move slow all right now for not to stick this in there not to uh, stick the uh, shaft in the place where it needs to go <laughs> <laughs> Well, I got it all set up here. The only thing that I'm kind of pissed off about is uh, I, while I was in the process of aligning everything and making sure the tension was decent enough, I ended up realizing that I put the wrong sprocket on the wrong jack shaft. This is a 10 tooth and this is a 14 tooth. They should be reversed. I should have the 10 tooth down here and the 14 up here. So pretty much what this is going to be is it's going to be a torque converter running a 14 tooth which is going to be running a 15 inch tire. That's not really what I wanted. I wanted the 10 going to the 14 and then a 10 going to the 54. Dang it. Well, we'll see how this works out. Okay, now let's put the engine on. Okay, dang it. All right, we'll open this thing up. Leave all my grounds connected. Disconnect the power going to the sensor. The little oil sensor. Yeah, there it is, the yellow. That's the sensor that's inside the engine. So that way when the oil doesn't connect, make connection to the little aperture that's down inside here, this thing will then send up the switch to the to the switch and then the electrical current don't will turn off the engine but we don't want that so we're just going to disconnect this thing right here all right now we need to put this stuff back in here yeah and squish it in there squish i got this thing taken off here and this is the kind of oil that i use sae 30. Okay. Shake it up because we don't want the pulp. We want the pulp to be in with the juice. Yeah. Then fill you up with oil, and then bracket you on, and then fill you up with some fuel. Hell. Then test you out, and then someday when I go to show you off to everybody. I'm going to have all sorts of like hot naked chicks rubbing all over you. That's what it's all about. Ain't it guys? That's what it all comes down to. I mean, you can be the coolest guy in the world, but if you ain't got naked women rubbing their naked bodies all over your stuff, it don't mean nothing. Well, we got all the, uh, we got the oil put in it. So now it's time to bracket the thing on. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe I should test it first. What do you think? Think so? We'll try it. Okay, I just put fuel in it. We're gonna try this out. Make sure my fuel hell is on. My switch is on. Make sure I'm busting out some Rihanna. First time cold start, Harbor
Let's go. 